A safe? A little miniature safe? Ooh, there's money in it, look. Money! Ooh. Oh, look at that. That looked like a bank envelope. This has one grand cash in it. Envelopes with cash? We are once again back at this rich CEO storage unit. They own over seven businesses, and guess what? We have some very interesting news on these people that we'll get to in just a bit. We've already released five parts of this storage unit, and we're going in for the sixth one. Let's get in there. So we have some very interesting news. I'm gonna tell you that in a second, but for now, let's get into a couple boxes first. Office on this one. The offices have been mixed for us. Some of them have had papers. Some of them have had very interesting things inside of it. Let's hope this one's very interesting. Well, it's definitely not paper, so that's good. You want some pillowcases? Sure. All right. What does that say? Ooh, peppermint bark. It's heavy. That Dominoes. Is, that's not peppermint bark. It could be. You want to taste it? No. Just try it. it you might... guys try it. Want me to try it? Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a domino. <laughs> oh, I just caught something. 100%. <laughs> what is this? Okay, these people really like dominoes. Remember we found another set of dominoes in another box. Yep. Here's another set. And, oh my gosh, you'll never another guess what one. this is. Dominoes. All right, let's pull out something else. Oh, hey. a safe? A little miniature safe? Cool. It's not empty, but it, whatever it in there, it's paper in there, I think. Okay, this one will break really easy. I bet I can just break it with my bare hands. Probably. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty close. Come now on. I just rotate it the other way. It's open! It's open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I heard this thing rattling around. Nothing in there. Boo! So, let's see. A few more pillowcases. Mysterious white box has some wires in it. All right, wires. What is this guy? De you know, a vacuum maybe? Hey. Does it work? No, nice. but it's probably dead. Down at the bottom though, it looks like we do have some remotes, nice. some have wires. Remote. Which one, this one? Yeah. It looks familiar to me too. <laughs> some chargers, maybe that goes to the vacuum and just some more papers. This bear has been playing a very inappropriate game since we bought this unit. This is how we found him. We did not put that arm there, but it's been there for at least a month as far as we know of. So you know what? His right arm is probably very tired. So let me explain something to you. I said I had some interesting news, and I do. So if you don't know how storage auctions work, when you buy the unit, you leave the personal stuff behind, you give it to the property owners, and they make sure the old owners get it back. The owner came up to pick up the old stuff, you know, papers, I think there were some pictures, there was some stuff like that we left behind because we don't have a need for it. And they wanted to buy back the entire unit. The awkward part was, this was Wednesday. We had our $1 yard sale. <laughs> Saturday, meaning that about 60% of their unit had already been sold off. So I didn't know how to answer that in a polite way. We told them what happened, so now I guess I'm just gonna wait until we come back next time and see what happened. But yeah, they kinda wanted all their stuff back and we sold it all off at the yard sale, so. Check out this big red microwave. I'm assuming that's what's actually in there. Yeah, look right here. I don't even think it's been opened. Look at this. It has it, it still has plastic on it. There's a little plate thing. Yep. Yeah, that's literally a brand new microwave that guess what's going to happen. Next yard sale. By the way, we have kind of a cool announcement I'm going to tell you a little bit later on in this video, so just wait out for that. Can somebody tell me the mathematical odds of these boxes tumbling like this? You see that? I didn't do that. That's, they fell, and somehow they fell at the perfect speed to where they land to whenever I move one of them, the other one's going down. There's really nothing I can do about it, so I guess I should get one of these boxes. Sure. Which one? Fish tank uh, or? Fish tank. Yeah, that's probably got glass in it. <laughs> this one's going down, man. Just so you know. All right, let's see. There's really no way around it. Like, what is the chance of it falling <laughs> like that? Hopefully it's not like the actual glass aquarium. Because if it is, it's probably busted, realistically. Yeah, I mean, it's just seeing items. I don't think it would be the actual, like, yeah, glass It smells thing. like it. Like, it smells instantly like water. Whoa. So, yeah, there's a lot in here. There's gravel for the fish tank. What is this guy right here? There's an LED aquarium set or kit. Mm -hmm. So, so far it's right on. Look in there, there's a bunch of like cleaning supplies, fish tank supplies, fish tank items. Hey, here's a eh, drill bit to a battery to a drill. I think we found like two drills in this unit so far that did not have a battery. So that might go to one of them. Uh, just papers. Let's see what's in these wrapped up things, if it's just fish tank stuff or what. Open up. No, it doesn't sound like it. What are those? 
I don't even know if that goes to a fish tank. This looks like it goes know. to a lamp or something. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what my guess was, but. A lamp? Let's yeah. be my guess, too. Let's open up one more wrapped up thing. Look at this one. This one's heavier, whatever it is. Let's see. Ah, everything here is double wrap. Whether it's a $10,000 vase or something from the Dollar Tree, it's like so protected. This is it's a flower pot inside of a vase. Ooh, there's money in it, look. Woo! <laughs> Woo! One penny. And yeah, that's literally it. So I'm gonna assume the rest of this stuff in here, probably more glass pots, more glass pots. Don't forget, we have a second channel where we go more in depth into these boxes. Yeah, so seriously, subscribe to the Jeebus family, second channel, link will be in the description. You'll be able to see everything in detail if you're a curious person. Let's mix it up and go for one of these blue totes that we can't see into. Ooh, it's got a lot of weight to it though. Let's see what's in this one. Ew, every storage unit has it. Every storage unit has one box of wires because I think it's pretty universal. Everyone keeps a box or at least one tote drawer, something full of wires in their house where you're like, I don't know what that goes for, but I know the second I throw it away, I'm gonna figure out what it was for and then I need it, so wires. Let's bring out some of the little baby totes. Look, Look at it. Look it is. Little baby totes. What do you think is it? <laughs> baby totes. I don't know. If it's paper, I'm stabbing it just to let okay. you know. Okay. Let's see what it is. If I can open it. Whoa! Whoa. No! Are those all McDonald's, McDonald's toys? toys? Whoa! Check that out. Spider Man. I'm not expecting this at all. No, this was the exact opposite of what I was expecting. I was really saying that because I was setting it up to be papers. That was my <laughs> assumption. But no, look. Eeyore dressed up as Tigger. What dates do these have on them? I mean, Eeyore was old. I mean, they look newer, but this one uh, looks older than the other one. This is from 2002 right here. This is from 2000. This is 02. I'm pretty sure. I want to look. Oh, look at the Burger King bobbleheads. Oh, cool. Burger King had Dragon Ball ones in the late 90s, and that's what I'm looking for here, because I would love to have them in the package. And people on eBay think they're worth like a million dollars when they're not. Check that out. Look at all these. I'm just going to dump it out. Look at all that. That's Whoa. pretty cool. That's a lot. Some of them are open. Hey, look, Ron from Kim Possible. Kim um, Possible. I didn't really watch that show like that. That's the Call reason. Me, me, doing a reason. They pickle it. Oh my gosh. Why do I have a weird memory hey, of this exact dog? I used to have one of these. The me bigger too. version. Though. Yes, exactly. Whoa. Snoopy. No, just a dog. Okay, that was very unexpected. No, cool. There's another baby tote right here. There's I'm going to grab this more. one. So I went on eBay to search some sold listings for McDonald's toys and they range crazily from as low as like two bucks a piece to as high as $75 a piece. But say even low end two bucks a piece, we have over 40 here. This is a hundred dollar box all day. So let's get this one first. Now it's got me curious. Oh, this one says pictures. Let's see if it's actually pictures. Yeah, well, this will go back to the people that probably want to kill us now because we sold off the stuff, but that's okay. There's one more. Should I go grab the other one? Yeah, as long as it doesn't make the to tower fumble. If, if it falls, it it's your fault. <laughs> Slowly. Slowly. No. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> that was the goal. This one's unmarked. This one's unmarked. Let's see. <laughs> Open. Well, this one's like all, what do you call it? Ribbon, yeah. We sold off a lot of stuff sewing and crafting stuff at our last yard sale. Like people were loving that. So it's all ribbon. That is definitely a cool find because some of these are randomly worth a lot of money. It's gonna be a lot of research probably, but yeah, some of those are definitely worth money. Check out this little wooden bat that says Cubs on it. Whatever they used it for, it definitely had its uses. It's definitely not in good shape. It's pretty beat up. You wanna put it to the test? Sure. You got that duct tape, right? I do, right here. I think I can hit it with this little bat. All right, let's see. Let me back up. By the way, can I put it, put it out there? What? Never played baseball in his life. Don't judge me. <laughs> Ready? Sure. Ah! Oh! Oh! Well. <laughs> right. Hey! I came back to visit. Look oh, at that! Cool! You know, I bet you $100, <laughs> if we tried that 100 more times, we would never get it to go on the roof and roll right back to us again. That was once in a lifetime. You all just witnessed that. Look at this toad. I'm not gonna undo it because, well, they zip tied it shut and it's see-through. Look how much more thread and sewing material is in there. Check that out. 
And don't forget, guys, later on in this video, I got something really cool to tell you. I think you'll like it. But while, while we're here, can you do us a favor and leave it a thumbs up? And please take two seconds, two seconds to just share the video for us. It helps us out a ton. What should I get into now? I want to go into that. This blue one? Yeah. Records? It says records and crafts. It's like super light. So I don't know what's in it. Records and crafts. So did you hit that share button yet, please? If you like us, do it. If you don't like us, then you don't have to. Well. Okay. Well, strange. I don't see any records, but. This is a record right here. You never, you can put this in your record player and it'll play. Okay, that was uncalled for. <laughs> now what is all these little things? Oh, what is that? Money! <laughs> yes, I found a thing with money. Open, open. Ow, it's freaking hurting my fingers. Oh yeah, look at all that. Why? <laughs> five cents because we're rich now rainy we day can basically fun. retire yes it's the rainy day fund you know <laughs> we can retire off this uh there's not much else in there though the rest of it is just a bunch of crafting stuff with a random five cents in a blue container i don't get people so i see a master bedroom box and there's what we had the most luck with so far right here but if i pulled that you know bad things would happen so we're gonna go down off the top of here and try to get to that master bedroom box really quick <laughs> that just happened there's a car. And they stopped right here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, let's see what's in here. Well, that thingy. I that guess is this cool. is what? It's like padded. padded yeah, I guess padded. I mean, if you're going to pack this much glass, you need some type of padding. Let's see what's in here, though. It's just, you know, vase, wine glass, whatever you want to use it as. And I think we have about six of those. This is a vase, Ooh, so. Look at the tiger on it. Look at the other side, I didn't even see that. Check that out. Master paint. There's something in it. Well, <laughs> I just got tricked. But yeah, this is a lot of glassware. I found another box that's very interesting to me. So on the side it says, Master Bedroom Games 2016. But on the top it says, KCH-06-1251 each. Um, I kinda <laughs> hope it's what it says on the top. What does that mean? Let's see. Or a lot of video games. Oh, I see video games. A controller. I see a PlayStation 2 controller. Nice. I see a bunch of PlayStation games over here. Well, oh, give me some good ones. So we got Layer for the PS3 first. It's got Madden 10 in it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I do see a couple PlayStation games though over here. ATV Off-Road and Gran Turismo. I mean, nothing that crazy. A couple of DVDs. Look at the old NBA Live 2005. Where's the game? Oh, look. PlayStation 1. There we go. Is that all PlayStation 1 here? I think it might be. So, Vegas Games 2000. All right. It looks like you can play slots, poker, kino, Russian roulette. I call it Russian roulette. <laughs> it's just roulette. <laughs> Let's get this whole stack out right here. Let's see if we can pull some classics out. Any Spyro or Crash Bandicoot? Ooh, Resident Evil 3. How is $60 for the very first PlayStation 1 game off the stack? Not bad. Okay. Pitfall. 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 Big race. That one happens to be a $45 game on eBay. So again, we're already over 100 bucks on these games. Of course, they got Mr. Domino. These people love Domino's. Yeah. Let's not forget to mention that Mr. Domino happens to be an $80 game on eBay. So these games are just killing it. The, oh my God. Hey. I loved this game as a kid. Please be in there. I used to play this so much and it's in there. Cool. I might play that later today. Resident Evil 3. You heard that right. I didn't even realize that we had a second copy of the $65 game we already found. We have two of them sitting in here. Just insane. Classic right here, yeah. Namco. Did I mention the Namco Museum Volume 1 is also a $50 PlayStation game? I don't have that one. Monopoly, this is where you end friendships right here. When you get the boardwalk and your friend gets the park place, oh, I want to strangle them. I can't play Monopoly Excuse with people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple other games. Let's see what else we see in here. These look like they're going to be mostly DVDs. Street hoops right there. So another one game. Let's push some of this stuff out the way. Let's see what's in here. Can you see in here still? Yep. All right. I'm trying to get over here. Because there's something under here, all right? Hey, look. The PS2. The PlayStation 2. It's <laughs> two 
Beautiful. Memory cards. Memory cards. Both PlayStation 2 cards, too. I always liked the fatter PlayStation 2 like this because they last longer. Then they made the slim, but they kind of burn out faster than the original fat ones like that. So that's cool. Just a couple years ago, I could barely get rid of these things for $20, but now they're hitting that vintage age where people are wanting them, and these consoles are going for $75 plus on eBay. So we got one controller. Here's the AV cables. Do you see the power wire anywhere? Why is this penny in a thing? <laughs> I don't know. All right, there's one random penny in a thing. This one's got a coin in it too, another penny. Why do they keep pennies in there? Why do they keep pennies in random things? I don't know. They had like a bass, a fishing Real game. Fishing? I played that hey, game. Oh, that? look at that. Lexington Concord. We shot her around the world. Cool. What is it? American Revolution, Bicentennial, I got that much. But like, is it gold or something? Oh, look at the front of it. It's got Paul Revere on it. Cool. That's awesome. All right, look what we're missing down here. Another Madden game. Put that coin down. Um, what's in here? It doesn't sound like, whoa, jewelry? No. Pens and like a, what's the term for the cross? I always forget the name. I always say rosary, but yeah. it's called something else too. I think they're different. Rosary is what I was thinking. Yeah. But I don't know. And the rest of it looks like it's just a. Uh, I just heard money. It's just that, those weird random pennies. The rest of it though, just random stuff. Are you guys ready for me to pull this box down so I get to the master bedroom box? Completely regardless of the fact that all this other stuff is lying on it for stability. I just said stability. <laughs> stability. stability. Yeah. I'm going to do it anyway. Because okay, I want to get to the master go. bedroom box. And I have no patience. gonna let it go that it's, one's kind of open too all right i got the box okay it's just christmas decorations you see yeah we got lucky it's just wreaths they're not gonna break and you can see pretty much what's in here by the side of this box it says kitchen but let's see what's in here really quick i think it's gonna be all kitchen stuff we can see what the, i said we could see what's in the box yeah the side oh it's all the way opened <laughs> you didn't specify that i thought it just said kitchen on it but did you see this? No, I couldn't. No, look. Money, money, money galore. A fidget spinner. Uh, a weird pistol shaped lighter. You couldn't see all that. Xbox 360 battery, nope, sure a can. lock, a cigarette container right here. It probably has like a thousand dollars cash in it. See, let me, let me show you. Let me show all you right. what I missed right here. This cigarette pack, where'd it go? Right here. This has one grand cash in it. Boom. Mm. Nope. Virginia Slims. Ew. We don't want your cancer sticks. Oh, they won't fly out. But yeah, we don't want those. <gasps> a bouncy ball. All right. This is my opportunity to just slam it as hard as I can. Wherever it goes, it goes. God, I'm not going to be able to keep track of it. Well, you got to track it. All right, I'll try. Go. Yeah, right. This way. <laughs> no <Like>. idea. <laughs> Ball's that way gone. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought that was somebody coming screaming at us. Biggie. All right, oh, yeah. Couple of them behind, look. Yeah, the ketchup. That, that's me and gym class in high school. <laughs> so yeah, this one is all kitchen stuff. Let's get it together. Then we're gonna get the wreaths together and then we can pull out that master bedroom box and see what's in there. If you made it this far in the video, we absolutely love you. And can you do us a favor and leave a comment saying, wow, that was worth so much money. Just something simple. We just like to see who made it this far. Let's get back to it. Now we can see what's in the blue tote under the paper. Then I should be able to slide that master bedroom box out. And we can see what's in that one. Let's see, bunch of newspaper. Oh yes. These are what we need in case you misbehave. In no, case you misbehave, yeah, I'm the husband. women's you in the kitchen, this. exactly. Go ahead, take it. I deserve it. <laughs> All right. You gonna hit me with it? I'm not really gonna hit you okay. here. I was ready for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit you. I was prepared. Let's see, we got a set of four mugs, Garland by Royal Gallery. Oh, there they are. Look, can you see in there? Yeah. They paid 30 bucks for these once upon a time. No telling how old they are, but the price tag's still on it. And then there's another set here. It looks like just a bigger version, I'm assuming. Does this one have a price tag on it? No. The bottom. Does it? 65 bucks. Uh-oh. $100. Oh, this is like the dish set of it. So it's some mugs and a dish that goes with it. It's one complete set. So we got that. And then we got in here. 
I'm not too sure. I thought I'd be able to tell, but I can't. It's little things to go in cupcakes. Silicone hey, molds. This is exactly what my mom wanted. Right? Well, she wants bigger ones than that, yeah. but we can use those for fat bombs. We can. There we Aha. go. <laughs> yeah, ice cream scooper, kitchen dicer, right? Is this what that is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That thing. And just things sticking to turkey. Just a little bit of kitchen stuff. These people own a baking business. Maybe they did cooking too. They legit own seven businesses. Not even kidding. So now let's get this box loaded up and finally pull out the master bedroom box. This master bedroom box is heavy. Like, very heavy. Come on, you. Be something interesting. Not closed. If it's closed, I'm shanking it. I'm shanking it up. What do you think it's gonna be? Well, it might be closed, partially closed, but if it's that heavy, it's probably not all closed. Yeah, you're probably right. I see clothes. A lot of clothes, too. There's no way. Yeah, there's stuff under it already. I can already see it. So let's pull out some of these clothes. A lot of ties in here. A lot of ties I'm seeing. Let's pull those guys all out. So we can start to get into some of the stuff. Yeah, because look in here. Now you see that? No clothes. This is all nail polish. We literally sold basically a whole thing of nail polish at the yard sale already. That looked like a bank envelope, but it's not. In here, just random bedroom stuff. What do we have in this one? I see cards and things like that. Is that a bank card? Yeah, that's an actual bank card. We can't use those, but we gotta always look for like Visa gift cards. How much was on the Walgreens card we found in here? What you found? Applebee's. Applebee's, that's what I meant, not Walgreens. 10 bucks. 10 bucks, see? You never know when they're used or not. What's in this one? That one looks random. Let me set it down over here. Are these envelopes with cash? No, that looks like what they might go to. Ooh, Ooh, look at those jewelry box. Ooh. Hey, look at that ring. That looks like a male ring and maybe an engagement and a wedding ring for a yeah, woman. Yeah, it might be. I wonder if these are silver. Yeah, they're 925 marked. Awesome. Cool, so look at that. That's a pretty set. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what's in this? I'm guessing a blood test thing. We found so many of those. Yep. There it is. They, they had to be diabetic, definitely. So let's, anything else? Hammer, Wells Fargo. Anyone shove any money in these? <laughs> no, just the checks. Ooh, look, what's in this? Uh, uh, yep, we're not, you can guess, right? <laughs> I can tell, I can feel the tip. It's what you think it is. Maybe we can give that to our neighborhood Karen. She probably needs one. Or two, maybe four. She's a little frustrated. Yeah, I think she needs it. I think she needs the whole bag. That one's trash. The whole bag from the yard sale. If you didn't see our yard sale video, <laughs> you should check it out. It was like one of the best videos we made in a while. It was so much fun. What's in this thing? What do you think it is? Like an ornament? Get out. It looks electronic. Come out. Get out. What is that thing? Mm. Listen. Mini card reader. Oh look, yeah, maybe just SD cards. Yeah. All right. So, health insurance cards, things of that nature. Not interested. This looks like a medical supplies, like shh, medical blood pressure machines. I'm pretty sure somebody asked us for one of those at the yard sale. We didn't have one last time, but we will next time. Whoa. All right. What's in that? I don't know. Let's find out. Medical? No checks i'm just sitting here casually going through it on the floor because it fell <laughs> <laughs> this pen i always got to check because they literally make like gold pens which is crazy to me what's this though that's the question Ooh, look at those glasses that those could technically be gold really i bet you they are see how thin it is yeah i bet you those end up being gold we'll check them out when we get home but i bet you those end up being gold hey look come here you see this a PlayStation bag. I'm gonna open that up in a second. But let's see what else is in here. What what is this? A big old picture. Those are military pictures. Oh look. I would not want to mess with this guy. He's dead on. There's like five shots in the body, five shots in the head. That's impressive. Ten round mag. Don't want to mess with him. So then we got this looks like a brand new bag, doesn't it? Yep. Brand new bag. Awesome. Uh first aid kit. Uh that and let's see what's in this purple guy right here oops did i hit the camera yeah sorry this looks like everybody's bathroom stuff you know just stuff sitting around the house that you don't want to throw out because you might eventually need that kind of stuff and there's one more bag in here and then there's the playstation bag 
So let's pull this out and see what's in here. Come to this side, come to this side. We're running out of tailgate space. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Let's see what's in the purple one first. Open up. All wire cutters in it. <laughs> Look at that, some scissors and a bunch of different types of wire cutters. Very random, but they did crafting, so not surprising. PlayStation bag, better have PlayStation stuff in it. It better not be full of scissors and stuff like that. <laughs> better have... We already found a PS1 in here, right? I think so. No, I think that was the last unit. There's the Slim. Hey. I just talked about this like 10 minutes ago. I was like, they made the PS2 Slim after the fat one. And the Slim, slim burn out easier. But now we literally have both versions of the PlayStation 2. The fat one and the Slim one. And this one's got the power and the controller right here. Let's see what's in the front. Is there more in there? Hey, look, a memory card. Set a PlayStation 2 memory card too. Nah, anything else in there? No, that's it. But hey, two game systems already. This little box here says crystal on it. And I'm wondering if it's like crystal dishware or if it's like actual rocks and crystals like that. I'm hoping it's the latter. I really am. Those are fun and yeah. cool to look at. We haven't found those in a while. I know. That's what I'm hoping for. I like this. I, I know. need these for shipping. Oh, let's see. Ah, uh, might be neither. Hmm. It's like very small all this paper look what is that that's a baby champagne glass what is the point of this <laughs> he's like trying to look shot. fancy a little fancy shot i guess uh, what is that okay i guess those are crystal i guess that counts right i guess i mean technically they look like crystals what's in this one i'm gonna open up a couple of these not all of them if it looks like it's gonna be stuff like that these are little mirrors there's more of them in there that's it what about the baggie? Nothing. These are more little mirrors. I can see it through the paper. Hmm. This one. This one's heavy. If this is just mirrors too, then I'm going to assume it's just a bunch of mirrors used for crafting different projects. Whatever this is, it's heavier. It's super wrapped. Oh, look at that. A crystal apple or pumpkin? What do you think? Apple? Yeah. The little ridges made me think pumpkin. Yeah. But I think it's just how it's made. Okay, one more because that was interesting. Which one? Pick one. A good looking one. one. That is heavy again. So this might just be a bunch of crystal decorations. Or just stuff around the house. Yeah, look. Oop. They're little candle holders. But they're definitely crystals. You can see by looking at them. So not a bad box. So I have a small unmarked box here. And there's also two smaller unmarked green totes. We'll get into those in a second too. But the smaller boxes are just where usually good things are. Last time we find it, we found a little cookie tin with like money in it, some old coins, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So this one looks like it's going to be jewelry. Well, this looks like something to display the jewelry on. Oh, look underneath of it. There they are. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what is this? Craft show. 30 bucks. Yeah, uh, we have another van. Is this the only section Car. <laughs> that has like rentals? Because remember last time we were here, there was like at one point five groups of cars in this one section nowhere else in the entire facility look at this box though it's completely full of necklaces jewelry hey look disney pendants what's his cool. name I forgot his name simon Sim simone simone okay no i don't know <laughs> it's timon and pumba but i don't remember i think it's timon i never watched to be yeah, honest with you so somebody crack this in the comments look at all these there's a lot of jewelry here Wow, look, there's a bunch of little American flags. And yeah, there's a lot. Like military type thing. A lot of jewelry, that's for sure. Before I get into one of the green totes, let me say again, guys, make sure you go down in the description and click the link to our second channel and subscribe if you're not already because we will go into that stuff in so much more detail. We kind of got to rush it on this channel because we like to move fast, but over there, you get to see everything. So let's get into the first of these unmarked green ones. Gosh, maybe. How do I open it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All pictures. So let's not Is that effort worth it? No, that effort was not worth it. Let me grab the other one to see if it's the same thing. I know I saw two. <laughs> Usually it's going to be the same thing. This one's easy, but it doesn't feel like it. Unless it's just loose pictures, which it may, very well might be. That's Xmas. Oh, it's Christmas stuff. Look at that. Well, a bunch of Christmas decorations. You want to know something now? Last yard sale, everything we had holiday sold. So I'm not even mad at this stuff no more. It's at the end of September now, it's starting to get cool out. These will be easy sales. So I found another little green tote right here that I want to get into. Before I do that, I don't think I'm going to untape this one because you can see through it. It's a whole bunch of ribbon. 
you can see it through the camera, right? Yep. Ribbon, crafting, things like that. Just good crafting stuff, which is good stuff, but I want to keep this tape so that stuff doesn't go flying. Let's see what's in this one. It says new craft flower on it. That's a flower. It's the heaviest flower I've ever it's felt. It's center pieces on the side, too. All right. What is with these totes? Not wanting to open. All right, so first, is this a tablet? Hey, look at that. It's a tablet with the keyboard. Let's see what it is, if it's a Surface or iPad or anything like that. No, just an RCA tablet. But still, it's got the keyboard encased and everything right there. We got a purse. Uh, not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. Capezio. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> a couple pink purses here. What is that one there? Fashion accessories, it says. What about this one? I'm always scared to open pink bags. Like my luck, pink bags and storage units usually have bad things you don't want to accidentally touch in them. If you catch my drift. Toys in the adult variety. Little bear. Money! Got a quarter. Woohoo! Some hotel soap. That's like one of the necessities in every storage unit. Why does, is, is it normal to keep soap from hotels? Like, I never brought it home before. Like, what's the reasoning behind that? A bunch of stuffed animals, a bunch of beanie babies, a bear, one little beanie baby, the praying angel bear, and a whale. All right, a bunch of stuffed animals. Before I pull out this big box here, I got to tell you guys something that I think a lot of you are going to be happy about. So, you know our last yard sale was a massive success. We got the most people we've ever had. We made the neighbors super mad. It was a ton of fun. So I thought, how can we top this? We're going to do it again. November 6th, we're having the community yard sale, so they can't really get mad this time, but they probably still will. There's a community yard sale, we're taking part of it. Everything is gonna be a dollar, just like before, November 6th. So if you want the dates and everything, send us an email to this email right there. Even if you already did, do it again, because this time we're gonna save it all. Last time, it just didn't save our email. I sent it all out, went back to my sent folder, and it's not there no more, so I don't have nobody's email no more. So everybody that wants notifications on every future yard sale, Send an email here and we'll send it to you every single time we do it. But November 6th is the plan right now. Now we got this big old box here. Do you see a label anywhere? Um, right here, new stuff closet. Let's see what their new stuff is. What are you thinking? Uh, new stuff in the hall closet. Toilet paper. No. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, cool. New kitchen Bunch stuff. Bunch of kitchen stuff. Yeah, look. Family Chef, eight piece prep set. Brand new. Um,. Looks like a bunch of bottle tops or something right there. Mm, yeah. Is this a blender? What is this guy? Um, dispenser. Oh, it's a dispenser. So you can put, it's like what the hotels have. You yeah. put stuff in there and <laughs> That's kind of cool. It. You can use that for the cats. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Just dispense it for him. We'll probably just put it at the yard sale. Yeah. Lasagna slicer. I thought okay. I was going to say lasagna. Slicer. This, not even wrapping that thing up, it's just paper. Then we have, oh, that's heavy. The towel tower, definitely in okay. there. It's weird to have the towel tower right next to this tower. Jenga. Jenga, which is actually in the box still. What's this big thing? Is this actually a laptop? That's something we've not found yet. No, it's a 48 can collapsible cooler. Oh, definitely got me. That looked like a laptop <laughs> right. case to me. Anything else in there? These look like ice cube type things for cocktails and a little set of Tupperware. Hey, that's a lot of brand new stuff, so all of it will be at our yard sale. You see this very little box all the way in the back, back here. I did, I have to know what's in there. I don't think the Swiffer's strong enough. What's up? Yeah, it is. Come to me. Come to me. I just gotta know. No. <laughs> oh, I think I read what it said. I don't like it. Us. Receipts? It's really light, but feels too heavy if it'd be just receipts, but let's see. Well, it says receipts 13, 14, so. So it might be two years of receipts. Uh, no! Uh, you know what? Now I'm throwing away all your receipts. I hope the IRS decides to audit you because you're not getting these back. So this looks like pantry, I guess, clean. They're clear pantry clear items. Clear party items. Party. Oh, why did I say pantry? Because it looks like pantry. <laughs> it does, okay. Look at all these. So we have cups, cookie sheets. This is actually full of like a bunch of wine glass type things. So this will definitely be at the yard sale next time. It's in the shoe looking box. All right, like punch, maybe punch, I don't know. It looks like, I'd love to say a punch bowl, but it's too small for that. Yeah. But it's something. And there's a whole bunch of dishes. So this is just a bunch of all plastic, clear party items. Let's see what's in the little blue toad here that was just on the ground. Well, it said wires, and it's like a really old keyboard in there. 
and a bunch of wires. You know what we do though? Every time we sell wires at our yard sale, we always have somebody, I think they strip them and scrap them for the copper. So they always sell for a little bit of money. There's still a lot more boxes in here. Which one should I grab next? Actually, don't tell me, because we're gonna grab it next time. Make sure you subscribe and come back guys. Peace out.